We were at our previous church 28 years. I had responsibilities at another church. And so Karen was mainly the one visiting different places to, to see where we would feel at home. She would come to the early services at Southern Hills at, at the previous location before City Station. And um, then would join me for the late service at the church where I was at that time. There was one Sunday that something very, um, a, a political but very social thing that, that impacted society had happened. And I listened to two different preachers talk about that. And I heard Shannon talk about this situation and this that we are going to deal with it in love. And I just thought, that's it. And that's what just attached me then to Southern Hills. In our um, previous experience, we both were so involved with so several different aspects, and it seemed to totally consume. And I feel like we needed some time just to step back. And so then it became hard to think about stepping back in because we had not experienced um, boundaries being set. We still camped out on our back row, and. Uh, we listened to the message and talked about how good it was, and then we went home. Last January, we, we went to the, you know, as usual, attended the eight o'clock service. And as we drove up, we saw the tents, and we thought, hmm, it's freezing cold. They're not gonna make us go out and do stuff out there. But, you know, we got, got the cards in the service, and then we were told we we're gonna go out to the tents, and you can visit the table at which your interests lie. We first started out as greeters. I spent 36 years in the school system and part of what I did was greet kids every morning. So this this was just, I just bumped it up to adults. In addition to that, um, yeah, I started playing with the band. I've been a bass player for <clears throat> more years than most membership has been alive. And um, so I, I did audition and I started playing within two or three weeks after that. So I continued to greet. I'm greeting on Sunday morning. Um, and then for the first service, and then if Amy needs somebody to fill in, then I'll do that on the second service. And then if Nicole needs anything done, then I'll just, you know, behind the scenes is more my thing. And so let me find something that needs to be done, and I'll be glad to do that. You have a choice. You can either attend or participate. And you can't sit on the fence that way. Look at all the different things that are going on and find one thing that you know you enjoy and start there.